they got Lonnie Love out here looking like she just weak in the knees from a gastric bypass surgery. She can't hardly sleep. She lose all control and something done took over her. She looks exactly like the singer Coco from SWV. Girl, you looking good. You looking snatch, snatch, snatch. I like the way that Lonnie Love is looking. It's about time because Lonnie Love, I don't know if you're on the same Ozempia, Olympi, Olympic, one of them. I don't know if you're on this Ozempic. I know the name of it. I don't know if you on the same stuff that Oprah is alleged uh, on being on, but Lonnie Love has been a healthy girl. Lonnie Love has had a wide back for a long time, a big back, a Birkin back, a basketball wife's back, a somebody back, Billy Goat's back. She done had a heavy, heavy, heavy load down on her back for a long time. Ankles, knees, and stuff. Lonnie have struggled with her weight, and that's neither here nor there. I like Lonnie. Fat, skinny, in between. All we've known Lonnie, Lonnie Love is to be a plus-size woman. That's all we've known her to be. And so I just love her for whoever she is and whatever she decided to be. But we do um, notice that the subtle changes that Lonnie Love is making, you know what I'm saying? She's done lost a lot of weight. Lonnie Love, what you over there got going on, girl? You know that, um, you know that, um, the carcassity of the Caucasian or the pink limp or the pink biscuit or the pink dick ain't got them up in there working you out in that bedroom and making you lose all that weight. We know that his back ain't that strong. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, to tackle you like that. But you are losing weight and Lonnie Love is looking great and things like that. Her eyes done went back in her head too. Lonnie Love, what you doing over there? Let me find out, bitch. Let me motherfucking find out. Hold that you done got laid on somebody's table and stuff like that because you know. Um, they got the new drugs and stuff like that, and it's working. Lonnie Love look great. Coco, you, she's giving you a run for your money. She may want to be, you know, when you can't make it to the um, SWV concerts and stuff like that, Lonnie Love may have to step in. We might have to get a, a vocal coach down there, Mama J, or whatever. What, what would the mama that groomed Justin Bieber to be a singer? <coughs> mama Jan. But anyway, a peanut got stuck down my throat. Lonnie Love looks great. Congratulations, Lonnie Love. Well, I don't care if you big, skinny, in between. This ain't weight shaming or whatever. Lonnie Love always look handsome. I mean, pretty to me. And things of that nature. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm just being, that's my comedic side. But Lonnie Love has always looked like a, um, a beautiful plush plus size Barbie to me. To me, maybe, maybe y'all see something different. She's always been a pretty chocolate woman because I went to the real one time and I sat in the audience and she is what you get, you know, Lonnie Love, you know. Come out there. She has a lot of love to give. She she wear her um her heart on her sleeves, and she's very bouncy and giddy and and you know what you see in the plus size girls and you know very jovial and want everybody to you know like her and stuff like that. She's likable. She, Lonnie is likable. I can tell, and um and she's probably even more likable now since she's relatable and she's you know especially in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying she's she done slimmed down in Hollywood and she's more you know Lonnie Love is doing her thing. Congratulations to Lonnie Love. We ain't taking no, we ain't taking no flowers from you. And tell Oprah, uh, I need her doctor because it look like Oprah gonna got a BBL. Oprah is fine as fuck out here in these streets. I see you looking, Jack. What ever more, ever more news? Go on.